Hello everyone and welcome back to this phone gap series. In today's video, we are going to learn what is phone gap. Some of the people might have also heard the term court over and you might have also heard people exchanging the term phone gap, Cordova, Cordova phone gap. So we are going to discuss what is the difference between phone gap and Cordova. Are they both the same? Well, the simple answer is no. Why? For that, we need to know the history because history is always a bit screwed up. We need to know what's the difference between Adobe PhoneGap and Apache Cordova. Well, it starts with the company named Nitobi. Nitobi was the company which initially developed a product named Cordova. They wanted to maintain this product as an open source product. But Nitobi was soon purchased by Adobe. And then Nitobi says that we want to maintain this product as an open source. Adobe says, oh yes, we will help you maintain this product named Cordova as an open source product. But since we have purchased you, we also have the rights on the code. So Adobe did two things. They started maintaining Cordova under Apache's license. And they also created their own product that was wrapped around the Cordova product. They named it PhoneCap. Since they had to monetize whatever they had put the money into, they created an entire ecosystem around PhoneGap. So they had PhoneGap build, they have PhoneGap CLI, they have even have PhoneGap desktop application, which helps you develop quick mobile application and configure the plugins right from your desktop. They have developer mobile application in which you can quickly debug your application and see the preview of your application as and when you develop. They also have PhoneGap built, the build on the cloud. This means that you no longer need to manually package the applications every time. Each and every time you make a commit to your PhoneGap, PhoneGap application, that means there are crawlers and there are robots on the cloud which will pick up your code and make a build for you for respective operating systems. You just need to configure the certificates for them. So that was history. See, this is how we get to know what the difference between PhoneGap and Cordova. Well, there are other products as well that use Cordova as their base, base code. The most famous of them is Ionic. You might have heard it as well. We also have Monaka. We also have Onsen UI, Visual Studio, and many, many more. Let's now learn about how the web technologies are leveraged inside PhoneGap. Well, as we know that PhoneGap is a mobile application framework that helps you develop applications which have a web view inside it. This web view is wrapped around with a native wrapper. The web view is quite similar to a browser or normal browser that we use on our desktop or our phone, but without back button, front button, or refresh button, or cancel button, or URL bar. This web view is given access to the native features of the phone via the native wrapper and these native features are like camera, contacts, messages, maps as well as vibration services, storage, network and gyroscope and many other features. But PhoneGap's phone gaps feature is that it does not make you feel what a web view is wrapped around with. So it does not make you feel that there is a native layer around it. You will see the entire screen filled with the web view. That means that you will not even see the, the URL bar, the front and the back button for history or navigation. That means you will also not see the, uh, the cross button to stop loading of a web page. And that means that 
we if it's a browser that means we need to talk about webkit and thinking of webkit we need we think that which webkit will be shipped with phone gap so it will be the latest webkit that your os ships so if your operating system is ios it will come with safari webkit if your operating system is android it will come with chrome webkit and if it's if your operating system is windows it will come with ie or edge webkit this is what the feature uh, of of phone gap is main feature of your phone gap application is it gives you a full fledged browser inside an application now since we already know that we have a browser that is wrapped around the native native wrapper and that native wrapper is not visible and that means that we have to code in three main languages inside the browser that is html5 css3 and javascript now once we have decided that these three will be our core languages we also don't have the facility of the front and back button also the refresh of uh, refreshing of an app refreshing of the page that means that we need to build our entire routing as well as rendering on the client side that means the only option that we have to build is a single page application now since we have to build a single page application we got to think about a framework that we can use framework or a library that we can use to build a single page application first thing that came into our mind was jquery mobile but that is quite old that means that we need to come up with some more sophisticated frameworks which can map or which can match our current requirements which can stand up to the expectations of the current requirements of the market and then comes into our mind is angular or react or vuejs we can integrate all of these frameworks within our entire application of phone gap within the web view that is provided by phone gap that means that we have power to use our own fun uh, or own favorite framework once we can choose a once we have chosen our framework we we are very happy and we can now focus exactly on the functionality that we want to develop rather than the nitty gritties of like okay what are we going to do now or if we had a java language or if we had an objective c language we had to first focus on the programming principles and then also come to the design aesthetics but since you are developing for web you are handling both the things and since you can you, you have the ability to use a framework you can you can focus more on the functionality leveraging web technologies using phone gap means we have to code mostly in html5 css3 and javascript and as i said we are going to use most of our favorite frameworks inside and because of this mobile application development has become more accessible you will find more and more people saying that they are hybrid mobile application developer rather than native and also they uh, i mean you don't need to you don't need to have knowledge about native application anymore that means that you don't need to have knowledge about objective c c sharp or java and also it is very difficult to find people with who have knowledge of objective c and as well as have a good design sense so that makes it even more easier for us to learn about html5 css3 and javascript and also focus on design part and functionality part we can focus more on functionality as i said and we can focus more and more on making our apps indistinguishable from native apps there are frameworks and there are ui frameworks especially made for this we can use angular material we can use uh, ionic that makes the apps feel more and more native in the next video we are going to learn how we can interface with the native features of phone gap thank you